The U.S. had a dream to expand from sea to shining sea, from east to west, from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, and from the 13 original states all the way to the Mexican territory through the manifest destiny which was a belief that God wanted the U.S. to acquire all of the continent's land no matter who they had to face whether it was the French, British, Spanish, Mexicans, or even the Native Americans. The dream finally came true when the U.S. purchased a small plot of land in 1853 for $15 million. But the question is why the U.S. even purchased this land in the first place, as it was expensive compared to other land expansions, such as the Louisiana Purchase and the Mexican Cession. so that they could build a railroad through the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. But what stopped them was the lack of resources at the time and bad weather conditions in the mountains. So it was very important to have plain land for the railroad line so that the trains could run smoothly and as fast as possible. James Gadsden found land that had this in the southern parts of modern day Arizona and New Mexico. The land that he saw was about 30,000 square miles of desert land south of the Rockies. It was considered to be a good and sufficient route starting from southwestern California to the southwestern states. The U.S. aimed to improve trade, transportation, and communication between their own southern states. The Transcontinental Railroad was very important for the U.S. because it would expand trade opportunities greatly and improve communication over long distances. In 1853, Franklin Pierce was the 14th President of the United States and also supported the idea of a transcontinental railroad line from the southern part of America to the west coast and eventually to the eastern part of the U.S. Gaspley declared this as one of the most important projects in his presidency, so he hired about 5,000 track workers from other countries like China and Ireland to help him out, after James Gaspley presented the idea to him. It was in mid-1853 when the track workers had begun building the Southern Transcontinental Railroad until they realized what was stopping them. The Mexican border! This is what led the U.S. Senate and Franklin Pierce to send James Gaston to Mexico so that he could convince General Santana Ana to exchange some of Mexico's northern land, or the land south of the Gila River for money. Mexico had no other option but to agree with the purchase because they were in a lot of debt and were afraid that the U.S. might attack them again, like they had done five years ago in the Mexican-American War and might take all of their land instead of just purchasing some of their own. On December 30th, 1853, Mexico agreed with James Gasden, who was the U.S. Ambassador of Mexico, to exchange 29,640 square miles of land and, and to clear the borders for $15 million. The purchase was called the Gasden Purchase and was the last territorial addition to the lower 48 states. Even though it was a very small part of the U.S., the U.S. might never have become the power they are today. They had to construct this railroad which helped allow trade between states and help us financially. The gas we purchased made for many bright possibilities for the U.S. Four, merchants who used the railroad would only trade in local areas. But when the first transcontinental railroad line was finished in 1881, it allowed trade to take place in vast distances, such as state to state and coast to coast. Lastly, it let us build the railroad we wanted that would help trade between the west and east. It even brought as many as 1.7 million new citizens to our home country of today. The Gadsden Purchase was a peaceful negotiation, but it also came with some downsides. If Mexicans who lived in the Gadsden area wanted to go back to Mexico, they would have to get all their belongings and move across the border to get back into Mexico. It would take a lot of work. The previous treaty broke the promise that the U.S. would protect Mexicans from the Native American tribes. 
Mexicans felt very disappointed that the U.S. promised to protect them, but after they received the land they needed, they were afraid of the Native Americans attacking them, or even taking over their own land. This eventually caused them to move back. Even though it happened more than 150 years ago, the Gadsden Purchase still has an effect on our people today. There is a large interstate now where the railroad used to be, called U.S. Highway 60. Millions of people use this highway for daily driving every year. Arizona is also a much larger state now than it used to be because of the land we purchased from Mexico back 162 years ago. And all for a simple railroad line. Who knows if the U.S. would have ever become a state of global economy today if it weren't for the transcontinental railroad line, which first improved trade from coast to coast in the U.S.